Park City Files Andrea Jackson. She was talking to the fire chief out there, uh, giving us an update. She's live from DeLeon Springs. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning, Amy and John. The fire crews will be here throughout the day. They've got their work cut out for them. I spoke with the fire chief earlier this morning. He said they've got it pretty much under control. But as you can see, this is a floral growing property. This company manufactures ferns and decorative plants for bouquets. This particular spot here, they were growing that moss that you find in a lot of those floral bouquets. So that compacted moss is causing a big problem. Lots of smoke. It's so dense, it's hard to put out so they're letting the fire burn out they've also brought in some equipment to actually lift the metal buildings which is what you see in the background and talking to the chief earlier he said there were some big challenges involved take a listen the biggest challenge with this fire is what's surrounding it. Uh, when I arrived on the scene, the building was already collapsed to the ground. So our main thing at that point was to protect everything around it. We have propane tanks that are in the back of the building, 500 pound propane tanks. That's a big concern. We don't want those to be ruptured or those to go off. I just spoke with the owner of the business moments ago. He's the man in the Navy jacket with the baseball cap. John Wickham is his name. Very emotional day for him. He started this business more than 30 years ago when he was 19 years old and $100 to his name. So he is trying to cope with this major loss. He's got about 50 employees. He delivers everywhere across the U.S. and into Canada his product. And he, at this moment, is trying to figure out what to do next. But he's got a number of businesses that have opened opened up their hearts and arms to him already to invite his company and his employees to continue doing the work that they can here. We are live in Volusia County. Andrea Jackson, Fox 35 News.